Ever wonder how a Doberman might behave with kids in the house? Well, I can tell you there are a lot of variables here, but one of the biggest predictors about how things will go is how old the kids are in the home. So today, I'm going to break that down for you so you can know exactly what to expect from a Doberman living in a home with a baby, a toddler, or even older kids. Is this really a good idea? First up is probably the situation that scares new owners the absolute most, and it's a Doberman with a baby in the house. Okay, I've personally done this many times myself now, and it is possible to raise a Doberman with a baby or an infant in the house. But of course, there should always be close supervision and safety should always come first, especially with a young infant. But if the Doberman was well socialized from an early age, you'll likely see some really cool behavioral changes in a Doberman when they're around a baby in the home, including things like an increased awareness of the baby's location. Now, you'll often see your Doberman just kind of naturally just pacing around the baby or always looking back to the baby's location. Seriously, with my kids, I could always find my Doberman looking towards the location of my kids, especially when they became mobile and it was like my Doberman's nose was a laser pointer just always following my children at all times. You'll probably also see your Doberman kind of slow down a little bit and walk more cautiously when they're around the baby and you'll probably start seeing something really cool from your Doberman as well that they kind of seem to instinctually do. Frequently just kind of reassuring actions towards your baby. Like they'll start licking your baby's face or hands or nuzzling your baby when they're crying. Honestly, it's just so cool to see. Your Doberman will probably also start frequently laying next to your baby or at least in the general vicinity of your baby. The really cool thing about Dobermans is how they lay next to the baby. You'll actually often see them laying with their back to the baby and facing kind of the entrance of whatever room you're in. And this isn't because they aren't interested in the baby, in fact, really quite the opposite. It's actually their protective instincts kicking in with them when they do this. Now, these are all really cool behaviors that the Doberman does seem to frequently do. However, a lot of the time with a young baby in your house, your Doberman may appear disinterested or just walk away from your baby, especially if they're screaming at the top of their lungs, for example. Now, often they do this just to kind of get some quiet time because they're overwhelmed and it's totally normal. And actually it's a really good thing that they do this. Never keep your Doberman in a confined space with your child and always make sure they have an escape route just in case things become too much for them. Now, as puppies though, Dobermans definitely act a little bit different with babies in the house. Doberman puppies have a lot of energy, they have sharp little nails and puppy teeth, and they have this prey drive instinct that they just aren't good at controlling yet. So be very cautious with a baby around a Doberman puppy. I mean, heavy amounts of supervision is definitely appropriate, and honestly, it may be best just to keep them separate for a while, especially when they're both very young. Next is Dobermans with toddlers. Now, this is where their interactions together just start getting just super adorable and really fun to witness. If you haven't fallen in love with Dobermans yet, seeing a well socialized and trusted adult Doberman in a home with toddlers definitely will make it happen. Some of the really cool behaviors you'll see from a Doberman living in a house with toddlers are things like their extreme patience with annoying actions from the toddler. Toddlers, yes, they can be annoying and they do things they shouldn't like pull on dog's ears or smack them or tackle them and just generally be too rough. And this by the way, is why supervision is really important. But a well-socialized adult Doberman is amazingly tolerant of these things when they're raised with kids around them. They can just take a lot and stay seemingly just very relaxed. You'll also more than likely see your Doberman set kind of some limits and just walk away from your child more at this age, which is super normal. It's not a bad sign at all, and it should always be allowed. Toddlers can be a lot to handle, especially for your Doberman. And one of the best things you'll notice between a toddler and a Doberman is a real deep bond with your child at this age. This is why many Dobermans start to show a strong desire to sleep in the same room with them. Uh, and maybe your child will start clinging to your Doberman for a sense of security a little bit more often around here. This is just when some awesome things happen. Also, when you have a toddler in a home with a Doberman, you're going to see a lot of really playful interactions, especially during that witching hour for these dogs, which usually occurs somewhere between like the 6 and 9 p.m. range in the evening. And this is when seemingly even the most mature Dobermans 
tend to get a little bit of a over the top playful streak in them and get out their last little bits of energy for the day and they tend to go crazy and toddlers love this. Now, a quick word about Doberman puppies living with toddlers. A puppy Doberman does get overwhelmed more easily. And again, a lot of supervision is important here. And this is actually where something bad could really happen. The young puppy could nip or scratch your toddler too hard, or your toddler could really hurt the puppy by accident if they're a little too rough. And if either of those things happens, it can easily lead to you separating your child and the puppy in the future. And a Doberman who's kept very separate from the family is and is raised separately is much more likely to have an aggression or biting issue as an adult. So it's super important to make sure that neither your puppy or your toddler gets overwhelmed and that playtime stays really calm and safe. Okay, how about a Doberman living with older kids? Now, honestly, they can be amazing friends, and this is especially true if they're raised together. Kids who are just a little bit older are better able to take directions from you, their parent, and they can also interact more appropriately with your Doberman. So there are a lot of really cool things you're likely to see as a result. For one, older kids generally have a more established routine throughout the day. They wake up, they have breakfast, they maybe go to school, go to their activities, and so on, on the same time usually throughout the day. So this is super conducive really to how a Doberman instinctually operates. They love a solid routine and they actually seem to kind of just get a sense of security from it. So they love being in a home with older kids who have those routines just more solidly established. Also, a stronger mutual friendship is definitely formed between a Doberman and older kids in the family. Dobermans, remember, are high drive working dogs. They love adventures, they love activities, and a family with older kids definitely fits this bill much better. They just do a really good job of wearing each other out throughout the day with older kids. Also, with kids of this age, a closer bond usually develops, and you'll probably see your doorman cuddling with your older kids in the house and just generally wanting to be closer to them. They'll probably be sleeping with the older kids, jumping up on their laps while they're watching TV, resting their heads on them, and just kind of just like stuck to them in general throughout the day. It's really cute to see. Doberman puppies, they also do a lot better with older kids in the house than with say babies or toddlers. Older kids can be given directions regarding not overwhelming the young puppy, how to handle the nipping stage, and can even help you kind of train the puppy, which is awesome. And of course, they still can help wear each other out throughout the day very effectively, which is just really awesome for us parents. Okay, so which of these formulas is best? Is a Doberman best raised in a home with babies, toddlers, or kids around? Well, it's always really a beautiful thing to see a young child and a Doberman grow up together from the very beginning, but there are a lot of ways that this relationship can go south if the kids are just too young with a Doberman in the house. So really, the best formula for having a Doberman living in a house with kids is definitely to do it with older kids in the house. I'd say by the time a child is eight to 10 years old, they can probably take directions well enough to successfully interact with their Doberman. And you'll also get to see a really cool bond develop over the years from that point on. So if I had to put an ideal age for a kid and a Doberman to be raised together, this is what I'd pick. Okay, wait a second, stop. These are protection dogs by nature, right? So how do these protective instincts factor into a Doberman's relationship with kids in the house? Well, these dogs do consistently exhibit protective behaviors when there's kids in the house. Not aggressive behaviors, by the way. That's a very different thing. They're extremely loyal to their own family. And when a kid they've bonded with is in the house, you'll see them doing certain subtle behaviors that originate uh, from this protective instinct that was purposely bred into them by the breed's creators. Things like sleeping watching the door to a room, or an increased sensitivity to sounds in and around the house at night, or you'll see them kind of watching specific people in a crowd much more closely when they're out in public, or scanning the room or the environment they're in, or checking the perimeter, for example, and checking in with your child more often. They'll do that a lot more often as well. In fact, try watching a doorman out in public really closely, especially when they're off leash. They'll be consistently looking over their shoulder. You're gonna see them doing this all the time, checking back in with their owner. And they certainly appear to do this a lot more frequently when they're in public with a child. There are plenty of stories out there of Doberman stepping up and guarding young children that they've bonded with. After all, protection is why this breed was created in the first place. So if a stranger approaches your kids, especially one with say a face covering of any kind or a large object in their hand, or maybe they're approaching quickly or aggressively, well, 
I can just about promise you that it's not gonna go well at all for that stranger if your Doberman is there. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna be a guest host on this channel, maybe you have a unique Doberman to share with this world, for example, take a look at the link in the description down below and see the paid openings we have here at Doberman Planet for guest hosts. You might have seen guest hosts on this channel before and their dogs, and now, well, you have an opportunity to be one of them. Please hit that subscribe button down below, and maybe even more importantly than that, hit the notification icon, that little bell icon down below, so you don't miss any of Dorman Planet's releases in the future. And as always, there are tons of resources below in the description of this and all of our videos. So definitely make sure you check out the description section down below for help with your Dorman. Keep being great Dorman breed ambassadors, guys. And of course, see you next time.